The U.S. Marine Corps is correcting the identity of one of the Marines depicted in this iconic scene from World War II, the Battle of Iwo Jima. You're about to see it. It's an image that resonates across the valley. One of the Marines is from Wessico. Channel 5's Taylor Winkle joins us now with all the new details. Yeah, that original photo was transformed into a monument that's displayed at the Arlington National Cemetery, but the original casting lives in Harlingen at the Marine Military Academy. Today, we talked to a veteran Marine about the significance of these identities of these soldiers. Looking down with a strong face. He's one of our, one of our, one of ours, one of our Valley Boys. With the help of five other Marines, Corporal Harlan Block plants a flagpole signaling the mountain is secure. The valley really is, feels proud of Corky and, and all, all the Marines, everybody that fought there. Six men, Corporal Harlan Block, who was originally misidentified until 1947, Michael Strank, Franklin Susley, Ira Hayes, Harold Schultz, who was misidentified until June of 2016, and now Harold Keller misidentified as Rene Gagnon until just this week. This original casting sits on the campus of Marine Military Academy in Harlingen. Sergeant Ricardo Chapa, a Marine vet himself, says Iwo Jima still weighs heavy. In 15 days, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, incredible uh, that that many people were killed. You see the number of Marines. More than 5,000. That's why to him... As a Marine, uh, we, say, we say once a Marine, always a Marine. <laughs> the identity is only really significant to the families directly involved. We all do what we have to do. We do our job. We're there to do, do our job, defend our country, de defend our goal is to take this island, and it took us two weeks to take that midway in, in World War II. Sergeant Chapa worked alongside others to get this Veterans War Memorial built in McAllen. He says we should take away a bigger message. Well, we should remember that we need to respect all of them, all, all people who, all pe the men and women who gave our lives for us, for our country, who fought in those battles. The correct identification was brought to the attention of the Marine Corps by private historians and confirmed by investigators with the U.S. military and the FBI. Reporting live in the studio, Taylor Winkle, Channel 5 News at 6.